Let's take a look how to make this 3D isometric number 3 with stripes here in Illustrator. Step 1, let's select the rectangle and I gotta make a rectangle like this. Press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift to intersect, press Ctrl D to create a new copy and two more times, Ctrl D and Ctrl D again. I gotta select this rectangle and this rectangle and I gotta make it white. Select all of it, let's go to the symbols. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select the symbols. And now we're going to drag and drop the pattern into the symbol. Click OK, delete the pattern. Let's select the type tool and I'm going to type in a number three. Scale it up. I went with the Noya Haas Grotesque thin version and I'm going to recolor it as a white. Let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, extrude and bevel. And we're going to change the position to isometric top. Increase the extrusion. I gotta go all the way. Now let's go to the map part. And here you can see these arrows. So I'm gonna go to the right and search for the shape where we're gonna position that pattern. So you can see right now it is showing this side of the number three's extrusion. So what I gotta do is go here to the symbol, select the new symbol that we created and click on scale to fit. And it's gonna replace this part of the extrusion. Unfortunately, it won't replace all the extrusion with the stripe. So we're gonna need to search with these arrows. You also can see this line we're gonna need to replace with the new symbol, scale to fit. And this way we can go on, do the same thing, scale to fit, and this side is already done. Now I won't need this side because this part is not visible. So I'm gonna go on, and I'm gonna change it again and do the same with the rest. There you go, click OK, click OK. Right click on the text, create outline. And as you can see, it's gonna show up like that. Don't worry about it. You also can scale it down or up so it's gonna go back to normal. Look at what it's doing. From here, we're gonna go to object, expand appearance, and I'm gonna select the selection tool, select the gray number three, and I'm gonna recolor it as white. And this is how I make this really cool number three extrusion with stripes in it. Thanks for watching.